I think it's about time that you finally find out the truth about the snoring blueberry and um, also the truth about why it actually is not such a good idea to hoover your house too long because you actually could exhaust its nervous system and it could come to a breakdown. And also you're going to find out about why the shitholders are getting paid so much shitloads of money. Hi, I'm Anya and I'm the author of Inappropriate Colors, 12 Story Delights for the Wacky Mind. Most of those stories I have actually invented in 2012 and I think it's quite interesting to find out how I did do this. I love improvisation. So most of these things came through improvisation and I had a phase where I just loved eating um, blueberries with strawberries and I think that's how the snoring blueberry came about and you know little did I know when I started that the snoring blueberry was completely and utterly depressed you know living in a country where all these joyous blueberries were all around you had to be joyous in this country and nobody ever ever had dared to leave the land, you know, the borders. Nobody did do that. And that snoring blueberry, whom I didn't meet directly, but her best friend actually dared to go further than anyone else ever had done. And I have to say, I have so much fun inventing these stories myself because I never, never know where they carry me to. It just needs that little spark of inspiration and off I go. There's this other story I want to tell you about. It's called The Nerve Quarter and uh, it's about a couple who's uh, madly in love. It's a Craig and a Drake and they have to share their flat because you know they can't, they have to pay off the mortgage so they share it with twin chairs who are very grumpy because, you know, they, they don't have anyone to sit on them anymore. And that um, story came about because I was in, in Nuremberg, that's uh, where I used to live, that's in Germany. And I um, was giving a story evening, reading, reading my stories, and then I did a little improvisation. And one member in the audience said, I am a Craig. And it, it somehow was such a funny image. So. I went back home and I thought, oh, I would love to do something with Craig. And that's what came of it. But if you want to know more and how these, where these stories go to and what happened to that little Craig and the Drake and the two empty chairs, the twin chairs, you, you have to get the book, you know, and the snoring blueberry and so many other really wacky, absurd stories. You know, I promise you, you will have fun you will really enter into another world of absurdity. And that's why I tell you, don't hesitate. Get the book now. Okay, I hope to see you soon.